Good morning peeps, this is Julia from Adventure Geek and I'm out on another walk today. Um, but I thought, I'm testing a new microphone, uh, which is a directional mic, I'll explain that in a little bit. But as I was walking I was thinking, perhaps I should tell you guys about my setup for the PCT with regards to vlogging. Uh, and the reasons behind, I've chosen different software, I've got some new gadgets as well to show you. Um, and I'm just going to, it's a bit of a mishmash really of all things vlogging, video, editing, all that sort of stuff. So if that's of interest to you, stick with me and uh, I'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> that's Alfie. Okay, so this is Alfie, Alfie, so Alfie ate my last microphone, which is why I've got this new microphone. Mm. Alright, so let's talk microphones then. So, I've always had Rode microphones, uh, and this is the one that Alfie ate. So the Rode microphone that I had was a plug and play one, so literally it had a lightning adapter on the end. You just plug it into the end of your microphone it had a really big uh, wind muff thing as well uh, but actually the wind muff is so big it was hard to put in my bum bag and a bit cumbersome plus you couldn't change direction of the mic um, so when he ate it it was an excuse <laughs> for me to buy a new one so i've now got a saramonic um, directional mic which is great uh, hopefully you can hear hear it okay but if I change the direction of the mic so if I change it round and now I continue talking you can probably hear what's further away rather than what's to me so if I move it back round I'm going close hello 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 what's going on here then uh, then it's a directional mic which is great if I'm interviewing somebody or something like that and uh, yeah so that's the microphone I'll be taking on the PCT a, you don't need to charge it. B, it's really, really dinky. It's really lightweight. It's not huge, so it doesn't look like I'm... I can vlog quite easily without feeling very self-conscious. So I've got this massive, big, you know, um, wind muff thing on it. So, yeah. So, I, I'm liking this microphone at the moment. Let me know what you think. It's quite windy here as well, and I don't think you can actually hear it too bad. Right, so continuing on the subject of microphones, uh, I have, you may have seen, if you've seen any of my videos that I've done at home, um, like in my little office, you'll see that I use a Rode wireless microphone. And that's really cool, I love that microphone, and it's great for anything where I'm doing something static, say and I'm just in my tent, and I'm just doing an overnight or something like that, and you've got the time to hook it all up, turn it all on, set it up. But when you're actually doing a trail of any kind, you just want something that's quick and simple and you just otherwise you miss stuff so uh, I didn't really want to take that on any sort of longer hike so yes I know the sound quality is not as good using something like this um, but at the end of the day I'd rather capture stuff and the sound not be as pristine and uh, yeah just capture stuff that's what I'd rather do so hopefully that's going to work but that's a microphone for me on the PCT Hey, that rhymes. <laughs> so next thing I want to talk about is uh, I don't use a tripod anymore. And I've done videos on oh this is a most amazing tripod, uh, but I don't use a tripod anymore. I use a monopod, um, which is in the form of a walking pole. So thanks to Justin Outdoors for this one. I've been using this for way over a year now, and it's just brilliant. So I use the Compadel camera staff. Uh, and on top of it, I've got a new gadget that I want to show you. Uh, so the Compadel camera staff, uh, they, which is covered with a stick skin, so which is uh, you can personalise them. I'm a big fan of personalising stuff when you're doing a trail because you know you get outside a hostel or a shop or something like that, 
uh, in a trail town and everyone's bags look the same everyone's shoes are very similar everyone's walking poles and it's easy for someone easily to walk off with your poles so for me it's just essential to make sure that you've personalized as much stuff as possible so a people don't mistake yours with by theirs and uh, yeah so stick skins is great for personalizing your poles and it's the Compadel camera staff there's quite a few of them out there if you're in the UK crag hoppers do one as well it's just a little bit heavier um, but it's got a little thing on the top where you can attach uh, a mobile phone and I can do those walk walk away videos at the same time so yeah I love my Compadel camera staff don't leave home without it come up to a road now so I'm going to put Alfie on the lead and I'll catch you in a little while okay so something else that has changed if you've watched any of my videos before oh, sorry you'll know that I've used this which is a little uh, clip that goes onto the top of my Compadel camera staff um, it's got a thread on the end that just screws onto the top and as I'm walking along I would lift that up lift that up and then my phone would clip in there and one of the reasons I liked it was because you have this clip when you're in your tent, it sort of clips. But after a period of time, I don't know if you can see it, it's actually quite wobbly. So when you start walking now, the wear and tear, I'm getting that shake. Now I use a, an iPhone 13 and for that I've got um, image stabilization, but it was still very, very wobbly and the quality was quite poor. So I've up my game and I've changed it to a MagSafe version of the mount. Okay, need to rescue my dog. Oh, yeah. So I say because I've got an iPhone 13, it's got MagSafe and I thought there must be something rather than lifting something up and clipping it in, there must be some sort of phone mount that you can use that's got MagSafe um, ability. So basically I've got a, an additional mount now that fits directly on the top there's not too many compartments so I'm not going to have any of that wobbling and literally I just grab my phone whack it on and the magnets stick it so it's really really quick and easy I love it I think it's brilliant why didn't I think of that before I had my iPhone 13 for like over a year now crazy but anyway yeah love the new uh, mount it works really well it's got quite a thick base as well so i can use it as a little tripod to do walkthroughs on the ground if i really need to uh, but the idea is something quick and easy right let's crack on with this walk so i've got my new profession or whatever it's called uh mount that goes on top of my compadel and that uses the magsafe um, technology spot on but then I had another problem is there's one thing I've always liked on the back of my phone and that's a pop socket. I love pop sockets. They're just handy in your hands. They make sure that you don't drop your phone. They're handy when you're lying in a tent uh, and it's a good little stand when you're on an aeroplane and stuff like that. So if I then had a pop socket, I couldn't use the MagSafe. Uh, there wasn't any decent cases that had pop socket and MagSafe capability. Then I discovered this thing and it's called a, like a slider pop socket so I can slide it down my uh, case and I can use it like that and then slide it back up uh, when I need it in the tent or if I need it on an aeroplane or just at home or whatever I use it every single day so yeah I love the slider pop socket I'll put every all the links to this stuff in the description below and some alternatives to other things that I was looking at while I was doing a bit of research so uh, yeah this walk I think I've done about six miles so far just scoping this walk out but uh, just coming down to a golf course now so no talking whilst on the golf course all right so I think I'm done with gadgets now let me just is that better that's a bit better so yeah done with gadgets now and uh, now it's on to some software so what software do i use and what sort of processes are there that i'm considering using especially for the pct so software i use i used to use one called magisto and it did it all for you literally you just chuck it all in it just does it all for you uh, and that was easy but you needed internet for that so the last 12 months i've been learning how to use some software called Kinemaster or Kindmaster, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Um, and you can use that sort of offline. 
Um, I always used to use for a desktop for my old job, uh, Camtasia. So I, I had an understanding about different tracks and transitions and all that sort of stuff. So it was quite quick and easy to learn how to use uh, KineMaster. So that's what I've been using. So I use KineMaster version 6. I do all the edits on that, export to camera roll, and then I synchronize everything to Google Docs or Google Photos so it doesn't take up storage on my iPhone. And that, for me, that's the easiest way. If I ever need the content, I can just download it. I like Google Docs as well because the search facility is great. You just put in, I don't know, tent, and you just bring up, so it brings up all your videos and all your photos that have got the word or has a picture of a tent in it or dog or whatever it is that you want to say. So it's just easy to find stuff as well. I've got to go because Alfie's chasing squirrel. Hold on. Alfie! Right, very quick last thing that I just want to mention is um, it's nothing to do with vlogging really, but it is to do with recording like a, a daily journal. And I use um, some software called One Second Every Day and uh, it literally just takes a video or a, a photo you know you live the photos that you have on an iphone and it creates a, like a one second daily journal and it's awesome so yeah by the time i'm god knows how old um if i'm doing it every single day like i've just looked at the whole of october and it took 30 seconds to go through my video journal but it just stimulated certain memories and uh, I really like it. It's just something you perhaps you just want to explore. Have a look at it. It's called One Second Every Day. Again, I'll put a link in the description below if you want to have a play with that. That's cool. Anyway, that is me signing out for another video. Hope you enjoy these things. Um, I say I'm very focused on the PCT now. So that's what you're going to be getting for probably the next five months. Uh, Obviously I'll be doing some trail videos as I go, so I'm doing some shake, shakedown hikes. Uh, but watch this space as things develop. Don't forget, get outside, get inspired, go take a hike when you can. See you on the next one. Ta-da! Bye-bye!